Hi, another kind of review video. This time it's the Tamiya CC01. Got this um, from a fellow on, on eBay this week and um, spent about a day fixing it up. Um, been pretty impressed with the way that it runs so far. I just thought I'd quickly explain the very few modifications that I've made to it. So, first of all, just take these clips off. So first of all, the front and rear diffs are locked. The rear diffs were already locked, so um, I expect that the part that came with the kit to be put in there, the front diffs weren't locked. But what I did was I used the trick of inserting an additional spider gear, which must have come from the back, into the front diff, and it worked perfectly. Um, the body shape, as you can see, is been painted quite quite nicely. It's um, got the Tamiya light kit in it and um, for the um, Speedo I, um, I yet again, because I've got quite a few of these, used a Hobby Wing Pro Speed Controller from Rip Max. You can get those at hobby stores. The motor, um, surprisingly, is an RC4WD um, 80 turn um, cooler motor which seems to be just about perfect um, the the um, servo which came with it is a Traxxas 2075 waterproof servo that seems to be fine and um, this 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 um, set up on a 4500 cell um, nickel metal high drive battery um, I expect it will probably run for about three or four hours. The other important modification is the wheels and tiles which actually came with the car. And I think that these, um, they're possibly RC four wheel drive, um, bead lock, um, I'd say, um, sort of defender wheels. The um, tiles haven't got any label on them. They're fairly soft rubber, no holes in the wheels so they don't let the water in. and it, it makes for a pretty good truck. Um, I did go through the whole truck um, putting putting ball races in just about everywhere where, where it could be done and that makes the whole car a lot smoother and a lot quieter. Um, so far been very impressed with this. Um, quite nice to run. Um, oh yes there was one other modification and hopefully I'll do a video of this later. You'll see that there is a tow ball put on the back for towing the trailer and on the um, third channel here there's a spare servo wire which has to be used for making the ramps up and down the trailer. Well, enjoy the rest of the video. Villain, villain, villain. 